So this is a quick video on the things we can learn and improve as guitar players and it's learning the notes on the fretboard. Now I've struggled with this for a while now and I've been playing guitar for almost uh, two decades now and I still have trouble uh, naming the notes on the fretboard. So I tried it a few times but then I eventually gave it up for for a new lick or to watch a new YouTube video and never really uh, stuck with it. But whatever I practiced, uh, it really helped in my playing. Now I'll talk more about the application and why this is important uh, later in the video. But first thing first, so here's the exercise that I personally like uh, and that kind of helps me in learning the fretboard. And you can do a quick uh, YouTube search on learning the notes on the fretboard and you'll and you'll get like hundreds of results. Uh, but this is something that has worked for me. So I hope it works for you as well. And I do plan to stick to it uh, this year. So the first thing, let's pick a note. Let's say uh, G. Now find all the G's on the fretboard all over the neck. So the G is here. G. And don't forget to go past the 12th fret because as guitar players we kind of noodle around here but really don't understand what's happening uh, beyond the 12th fret so make sure you learn the notes on the 12th fret as well so G So these are all the G's on the on the neck. So make sure to memorize those and then pick up a metronome or use a metronome app. I have this uh, Boss uh, metronome. And I'll start with a tempo of, let's say, 40. And then you start playing uh, G's all over the neck, starting from the top or the low E and go all the way down to the high E. One, three, a one, two, three, four.
Uh, so that's that's the whole exercise. Now, what you can do is to get better at this or better at finding G's on the fretboard. For starters, let's increase the tempo to 60. So you don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. Uh, just five minutes out of your practice time is enough. So during the next practice, just pick a different note and repeat the whole process. So I promise this kind of helps you in visualizing the whole fretboard, as well as hearing the note in your head. And again, you don't have to spend more than five minutes on, on this. So there are 12 notes, so you can idly do all of this in 12 days if you practice every day for five minutes. So the question is where and how does practicing the fretboard or learning the notes on, on the fretboard help you? Uh, and it helps you in a bunch of different ways. So number one, licks. So you can easily move licks around all over the neck. So let's say you're on A minor. And this is a pretty, and this is a pretty simple lick that I really like. Now you can easily move this to different parts of the fretboard because you know the notes. You don't even have to know all the notes. You know that it starts on an E. Then you find a next E, next E. Similarly, you can. Now let's say you're on a blues jam and you have a motive going on. So you can easily move the licks around and improvisation is more all about the motive and repeating licks so this kind of really helps uh, helps in uh, overall improvisation number two melodies it can help you play melodies across the fretboard so let's say you have a very simple melody <laughs> You know that it starts on the D, so you can find the next D. So it makes repeating licks and repeating melodies much easier once you know the notes on the fretboard. Number three, when you practice uh, learning or when you practice the notes like this on the fretboard, it kind of helps you imprinting the notes on the ear, especially, uh, especially if you uh, if you can also hum the notes while you're practicing this. So let's say I was practicing the G. G, 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 not G, 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 G. So this kind of uh, imprints the note uh, in your head, in your ear, so next time you hear, you know that it's a G. Uh, so if you keep at it, it kind of helps you, uh, helps you and helps you with your ear training as well. Number four is essentially learning the triads, modes, scales all over the neck, because now you know where the note sits on the neck. So if you're working on, uh, let's say a C dominant scale, you can easily move all of this around to different positions because now you know that this is a C, D, or this E, F, and so on. So I hope this kind of helped to give you some idea of how to learn the notes on the fretboard and what's the application of learning the notes on the fretboard. And it's, it's really important, especially if you're trying to get better at improvisation or more than a uh, inter intermediate guitar player so if you like what you see please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button 
I mostly do videos on the things that I want to learn and the things that I love as a growing uh, musician or as a as an average guitar player. And I'm hoping there are people that are in the same boat as me. So yeah, let's stay in touch. Cheers.